Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michael Rock and today I'm actually really excited because in this video I'm gonna share some activities in classing that can help you to engage your students. It doesn't really matter whether you teach kids or adults because anyway I hope it's gonna be helpful and my main idea here is to show you these features that classing provides and how can you adjust the layers and combine them into different shapes and objects. Are you feeling excited? So let's check it right now. Every time I make my EDB files in Classin, I always feel inspired because this fundamental concept of using layers provides you so many different possibilities to create. The first activity that I want to show you today calls the quiz show. So the main idea here is that your students are participating in a quiz show and here we have two possible options. According to my experience for kids, it is easier when you just hide objects and leave a visible part so they can recognize it. And for adults, you can give a short description so they can try to guess what's inside the box. Let me show you more clearly how it can possibly look like. Okay, so here you can see that I've prepared everything already. And to make this activity more engaging, you can place your students right instead of these participants. And I don't have students here, obviously, so just gonna use myself. And place yourself instead of this guy as well. And it's also very convenient to use dice in this activity. And as I mentioned before, for kids you can just make every picture kind of visible and also have a lot of fun with that because, for example, here you can leave a cable outside but it's gonna look like a mouse tail. <laughs> it's gonna be very funny when you let them see what's actually inside the box. So yeah, that's it. And yeah, as you can see, you can hide any object and depending on the level and age of your students, you can make it more difficult. The second activity is also based on the same idea how can you place different layers and hide objects behind them. But an awesome part here is that you can do the same activity every class and you just need to change pictures, questions and words. And every time it's just gonna look different. So you can do this activity for several classes and no one's gonna feel boring. Let's take a look at these examples that I've prepared for you. The first thing that I'd like to start here in this example is how to turn this task that honestly for me looks very boring into this. As you can see, it's the same task, but look how different it looks like. Here we have hidden words behind each ball. And I also suggest you to use dice to make this activity more entertaining. And you can ask your students to make a sentence using these words or can just hide questions instead of words. I also have these examples just to show you what kind of scenarios you can get with this activity. And for example, you can go to the outer space <laughs> or to the fast food restaurant. As you can see, there are hundreds of different scenarios that can be implemented with this feature. So if you have any ideas for this activity, please share them in the comments down below. The third activity requires a little bit more preparation time. The trick here is that you can hide different objects on the blackboard using the same color. So they are becoming kind of invisible. But if you use another layer and image, you can discover them. My favorite game that I've created using this trick is about a detective who is trying to find animals that are hiding behind different objects. So here it is. All right, so in order to find all these animals that are hiding, the detective needs a flashlight. Let's turn it on. And as I said before, all the animals have the same color as the blackboard. So the flashlight will help us to separate them from the background. And yeah, now you can see all of the animals that are hiding. So when I discovered that for the first time, it was kind of mind blowing because Classin has such an incredible potential to create stunning EDB files and make everything super interactive. Obviously, this game is perfect for kids, but you can use the same idea and try to make different activities for adults as well. 
All right, guys, I hope it was helpful and interesting for you. And if you also feel impressed about this incredible flexibility that Classim provides, please let me know about it in the comment section. And if you want to know more tricks and tips about Classin, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel because I will help you to discover more features that this platform provides. Have a great day and see you soon. Add it up.